Hello and welcome back to the next episode in your War of Horvex uh, tutorial series. In today's episode, I'm going to be remaking and starting up a new series in the way of remaking an old series. They will be going over the ability to uh, deal with class design. So what this will be entailing is we'll be doing military class design and also commercial ship class design, uh, talking about the basic mechanics behind each um, and so forth. As such, um, this will be the first video in that series, um, and I made an original series of this a while ago, but it's quite old, there were some issues with 720p and other stuff, so I'll be remaking it and also reconfirming the information, making it more clear and more decisive and um, easier to understand. So this episode will be going over commercial ship design, uh, essentially going over its mechanics, what uh, stuff means and why it's important and we will also be discussing um, various other things that go along with commercial ships and that kind of stuff so first off what is a commercial ship a commercial vessel or commercial ship um, is defined as a vessel um, that has an engine requirement met uh, and no components that classify itself as military. Um, so that means that its engine will, should be classified as commercial and all components that we classify as, uh, as military. So, um, for example, stuff that is military components is gravitational survey sensors, geological survey sensors, um, engines that are not efficient enough or large enough, um, and stuff like that. So, for example, a commercial engine that uh, needs to be at minimum size 25 and must have at minimum 0 0.5 um, power, 0 0.5 efficiency uh, or 0 0.5 power consumption to efficiency. So what I mean by that is if we go over to class design, if we design an engine, so if I put size 25 here and then I put in engine power 50%, this will be a commercial engine. And then everything below engine power 50% and anything above size 25 it will work. If I do size 24, so if I did size 24 or 23, I have a military engine. So that is what really defines what a commercial ship is, is the components that you are able to put on it. Commercial ships tend to be stuff like freighters, terraforming stations, tankers, um, all these kind of things that you make, colony ships, stuff like that. So what is the benefit or difference really from a commercial vessel to a military vessel? Well, commercial vessels need no maintenance. So as you can see here, this is a commercial vessel. It has no maintenance um, showing it because it does not require it. Um, if we go to military vessels, it will show the maintenance and average yearly fail rate of the vessel because it is a military vessel. So. Another thing as well is deployment time. A commercial ship does not need to have its deployment time changed because it does not lose morale or gain morale. Um, and this is very useful. Now, there is one thing that is a bit concerning, and that is going to be that it will use your crew. The way you deal with that is you go and you click conscript crew, and it will only take crew that are conscripts. And by taking conscript crew, you will not take it from your crewed and trained officer pool. And since training doesn't affect these commercial vessels, um, it should be completely fine. So that is the main benefit of commercial vessels over military vessels. So the main things that you're going to be wanting to look out for uh, for commercial vessels um, is going to be moving things long distances, uh, moving colonies, um, tankers, stuff like that. Those are the kind of things you want to look out for. Another thing is you can have sensors on a commercial vessel. Size 1 sensors, so if we go over here, size 1 active, thermal, or passive sensors are allowed on commercial vessels. Any higher is not allowed. Stations, so when you go into class design and you hit no armor, that will turn into a station. Stations are automatically defined as commercial vessels. Um, so you can't put weapons on it, you can't put any of that. Um, so you, ha you have to think about it like that. Anyway, um, besides that, um, another thing about commercial vessels is going to be its ability to construct uh, in commercial shipyards. So if we have a look at commercial shipyards, as we can see, we have uh, a lot of commercial shipyards. So I am currently on the tutorial series for the conventional starting steps we mastered series. And as you can see, we have these commercial shipyards. 
the reason we have these is to build commercial ships. Um, you can build commercial ships in naval shipyards, but it's obviously going to be worse because the point of commercial shipyards is you can build much bigger for cheaper. Okay, but the problem with commercial shipyards is obviously you can't build, uh, you can't build naval ships. You can't build, you know, military ships. So the modification rate and the build rate of commercial shipyards is much higher than than naval because it's a lower cost. So it, it costs a lot less for this shipyard than it does for a naval shipyard of the equivalent size. Um, and it also requires less population, I believe, to work it though I could be wrong on that, um, but a significant amount of your population in games will generally be your shipyard workers, so keep that in mind as well. Um, so that is the main benefit of commercial vessels. Again, um, another thing about commercial vessels is, again, um, since they're generally fuel efficient in deployment time, they are amazing for transporting stuff long distances, troop transports, um, all of that. Um, uh, a thing to go over as well is you can get a few things that are commercial that wouldn't otherwise be so um you can in c sharp you can get commercial magazines commercial uh, hangars and also you can get um troop transports are not commercial or, or are not military only so you can have a vessel that's commercial um but is able to um move with troop transport, and that's not classified as military, even though it's transporting military troops. So that is something you can also have. Um, and another thing that you can have with commercial, as I said before, is that commercial vessels, um, commercial vessels can have commercial hangars and commercial, um, commercial magazines. Commercial magazines are a standard, so you can't you don't design them. So if you go to your research and then you go to logistics, you can then research uh where is it? Um not not even on this missile and kinetics. Uh or no it'll be in, it'll be in logistics. <laughs> uh where is it? It's it's one that is one of these I haven't I I haven't been able to look at one second. Um, defense systems, construction, production, uh, logistics, missiles, and kinetic weapons, um, energy weapons. That that is commercial stuff. I I can't find it for some reason. Um, we'll we'll go we'll go from that. But I think logistics should be able to find hangers. So if we have a look here, is uh hangar bays. So boat bay, and then it will unlock into serve into extra things, which would then would be used. Um, of course. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, another thing is, uh, and commer and they're basically preset. So commercial magazines go like f size five hundred, size a thousand. So you can fit a thousand size one missiles, or uh, you know, five hundred size five, like that kind of thing. Um, and that and that should help you out for that. Uh, but other than that, that is basically what commercial vessels do across the board. Um, another slight thing is also jump. Uh, in terms of like jump technology, so um, jump drives and uh, commercial vessels work quite differently. So here's a fun fact: um, you can have a commercial vessel uh, or a commercial engine, sorry, a commercial engine on the military ship, and you only need a commercial jump drive. So you have your own commercial jump drives that I'll I'll go into, of course. So commercial jump drives uh, and jump engines. Um, are basically just a, uh, you set either commercial or non, and they have much higher max ship allowance, but they're much bigger uh, in terms of efficiency. So to propel a, a uh, to to be able to jump a ship with three thousand seven hundred and fifty tons, you only need a size uh you know fifteen or seven hundred and fifty tons on a military jump drive. On a commercial jump drive, you need seven thousand five hundred to jump twenty eight thousand tons. Okay, so it's a lot less efficient in like what you actually get. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, but it is more efficient in terms of being able to put this massive drive on something um and it's also i believe it is the same cost as well so th that's really the only difference and you can also jump with commercial you can only jump commercial drives with commercial engines and military drives with military engines so you can have a military vessel with a very efficient engine that you can put a commercial drive onto um but the but you can't have a uh military jump drive move it so you can have you can have a military ship with a commercial jump drive and commercial engine and that work, 
Um, but you can't have a commercial ship with a military engine, of course. So that, that is something you can do. So commercial jump drives need to go with commercial engines. Military jump drives go with military engines. Just, 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 a, just a whole reference thing there for you guys. Um, and besides that, there really isn't that much more to commercial vessels as a whole. Um, I've discussed tankers and supply ships and colliers. But this is just a basic overview of what um, commercial ships do. Um, and I'm going to be making a, a next video which will go over, specifically, it will be going over military ship design. And it will be discussing, you know, all the important stuff that military ships need to pay attention to. Um, and also stuff like that. And there will be design philosophy videos out. I've made these in the past and I will be making more of them. Um, but I'm obviously the quality is going to be much better and I'm going to be changing some things around. So I'll be talking about the philosophy of how you should design ships. Why you should do this? Why you should you do that? Let me know if you guys do really want to see that. And uh, that'll be coming out as quick as I can get that out. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the episode. I'll see you next time. Really basic, quick episode. But uh, I did hope you enjoy. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Next video tomorrow or next video in two days will be uh, conventional starting steps remastered. I hope you do enjoy. See you.